moving to the far northwest of Beijing to try get access to a story we've been working on for more than a year because we've been dealing ultimately with the People's Liberation Army. Going inside Space City, where foreign journalists are almost never let in. It's the heart of China's most expensive and ambitious project yet, the manned space program. We're meeting three of China's best-known astronauts. It's their first ever interview with a foreign reporter. Is it very difficult to dock the two spacecraft together? It is very difficult to dock the two spacecraft together. That is why we had to do the simulation many, many times. And how many hours did you have to practice? We trained for the docking for two years. Two years? Two years. CNN has obtained this exclusive footage of their rigorous training, thousands of hours of simulations, honed technique, so it's perfect in space. Physical, psychological and team testing always on the go. And it seems like you have to be a certain height, you have to be, have a degree, you need to pass all these physical, psychological team tests. Do you have to be superhuman to be an astronaut? Though the training process of astronauts is very difficult, we are just ordinary people. But certain characteristics make us more suitable to fly space missions. So this is a model and in fact a simulator of what the Chinese astronauts do in space. This over here is the space lab that went into orbit some years ago, the Tiangong-1. And over here is the spaceship that attaches to it, the Shenzhou. Now, the Shenzhou was originally modeled on the Soyuz Russian or Soviet Union spacecraft. China borrowed heavily from the Russians when it launched its space program in the early 90s. Since then, it's steadily checked off the milestones. First man in space, first spacewalk, first multi-day mission. But it comes decades after the Cold War race to space. The United States and Russia started their space programs early. They are the pioneers. Presumably, you want it to be the best. Of course. I hope our space program will be better and better. The Chinese space program cooperates with the European Union and others, but the entire program is locked out of NASA by U.S. Congress. And it's banned from the International Space Station, where 15 nations operate. Every time this ever gets mentioned at all anywhere near Congress, it gets shut down immediately. There's tremendous skepticism there about China. It's viewed as a foe. It's viewed as a, a, a government that uh, seeks to uh, take our... Um, intellectual property, our national secrets and treasure. Is it disappointing that you cannot directly cooperate with NASA or do joint exercises with the International Space Station? As an astronaut, I have a very strong desire to fly space missions with astronauts from other countries. For now, their manned space program goes it alone. China plans to put its own space station in orbit within a decade. But their ultimate aim is perhaps the moon, or even Mars. David McKenzie, CNN Beijing.